ClickUp integrations tutorial. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can integrate ClickUps with the apps or the connections that has been released on their database recently or all the apps that has been available. So these type of connections are going to be helping you a lot to uh, ease up the tasks that you have connecting the click up to different services and also platforms so you can go ahead and have everything connected so if you are going to have something you can do some commands some automations and etc now we are going to head over our workspace of a click up then we are going to click on the uh, specific quick action menu in here at the uh, top right corner it is going to be uh, at the left side of the favicon of the account like that and then we're going to have app center so we're going to click on it this app center is going to be uh, letting you know whatever app that we can create or not create but put a certain connection between it so as an example we have dropbox figma github and etc i have created a connection between my clickup and also google drive and google calendar account because I'm going to need the um, help of the Google Docs in here. So maybe I'm going to create a Google Doc or synchronize the data into a Google Sheet or something like that. So I would rather uh, connect uh, one of the options in here so we can go ahead and have it. Also, I'm going to let you see here that we have all the categories of the apps that have been categorized into one word or one category at the left side of the screen we have the calendars we have the cloud storage as you can see these are going to help you visualize or put a preview for the um, documents that you have integrated into these one of the cloud storage services for example if you are going to choose google drive as you can see the features is going to be uh, having the personal connected search create attachments and preview google drive links in a click up now back to the uh here the other category communications so you can go ahead and connect it to discord for example google chats microsoft teams zooms upmeet and slack these are going to be the uh, communication apps or platforms that will help you well to manage your team so for example, if you're going to have a project going on in here and you want to have a meeting and that meeting is needed into the one of the favorite platforms that you have been using. So maybe you're going to be using Microsoft Teams or Slack, for example, you're going to connect your Slack app or your Slack account into the uh, ClickUp space and then you can go ahead and set up the uh, tasks, for example, from Slack and etc. I'm going to let you see here the features that we are going to get from Slack. So here we have the, uh, I'm going to ignore this because it is going to be on the business plus. I'm going to use only the free plan. So we have synchronized click up activity to channels. So that means that you're going to post to Slack when things change up in ClickUp. Maybe you're going to change up a status or a priority or an assignee. It is going to change up the uh, task and also send a message in Slack. ClickUp notifications. So you receive ClickUp notifications in Slack. However, if you are going to have the notifications on about something, a task moved on, or a status of it also etc it is going to have notification on create tasks from slack so you're going to quickly create the task without leaving slack that means that you're going to head over slack and when you're going to be on slack you can go ahead and mention the bot of click up to create a certain task also as you can see as the other apps has been um, uh making available this option also slack is preview click up links in slack so you're going to have the click up links in slack with the preview so here we have the links also and etc for the comments we have opening slack updating slack status and clear slack status 
Now, this is how you can go ahead and connect any type of app that you want. You have the connected search, for example, the CRMs, as you can see, development, the email, as you can see, if you are going to have email automations, finance and accounting with QuickBooks, it is going to be a little bit limited in here. Of course, setting up the uh, QuickBooks invoices and etc., and also the time tracking. So that was pretty much it for the connections that you can have in here. So it is going to be um, very variable and also very, uh, very useful. Now, let's say that we are going to have one of the Google Docs um, in uh, installed already or the Google Drive. I'm going to head over here. So it is going to facilitate in here the tasks of having the um, the specific docs integrated in here so i can go ahead and head over what what of the uh, or one of the apps or tasks that i have so for example i'm going to have this one or a task in here i think that i have uploaded one of the tasks or one of the um uh, right there uh, plans that i have so i'm going to have this so this is the list of the tasks I am going to share with. Let's say that this is the task. I'm going to click on it and we are going to have a, uh, let's say a link from Google Docs. So I can go ahead and have already a Google Doc, as you can see, integration from here. And it will show me all the Google Docs uh, that I have uh, shared with it. So all you need to do is to click on links or add more and type in the link of that specific um, let's say connection that we have from slack from google docs from uh, google drive from whatever github as you can see and more also you can have whatever you want and you're going to see the visualization of that doc if you're going to click on it it will open up the doc already in the specific uh, placement of it on google docs now I'm going to show you how you can have the command set. The commands are going to be on the command center and you can go ahead and enter the command center by clicking on the search bar at the top or pressing control K. So this is the command center. Now, what can I do with the command center basically is to name the type of or the, uh, writing the name of the app that I have connected. For example, I'm going to type in Google and you're going to see the comments that we can create. For example, I have created a command with Google Drive. I can have a create or create a new Google Doc just like that. When I click on it, it will open up a Google Doc or a new one. So it is going to be created. If so, for example, I'm going to have another uh, Google, Google like that. A sheet I can go ahead and create a sheet a new slide I can connect for example a Google Calendar connect a Google Drive account and etc so these are going to be uh, some commands that you can have in here and also let's also have the talk about the automations that you can have some automations added so you can go ahead and click on the button automate create an automations and you're going to head over here for example, let's say that we have created a automation that is related to a task or a subtask. And this automation is going to have a source. By the source, you can go ahead and add, an, uh, let's say here, uh, a condition. If the assignee, for example, or the priority, for example, is equal to, maybe I'm going to change the priority to high. I'm, I can go ahead and have a head over here and um, scroll down a little bit to till the end I can go ahead and create a Google Calendar an event for here for that specific uh, as you can see here a priority or I can go ahead and have a HubSpot for example create company contact deal whatever and also a Twilio also we have a uh, for example you can create an issue in GitHub to get help of course also we can have the bug snags to change the error status and also the email to send an email for an automation or let's say here a, a specific uh, notification for the uh, signees. 
so that was pretty much it for today's video thank you guys for watching i hope that you have enjoyed the content and i hope to see you soon on the next one